morning, YouTube friends. It's Geezer and Molly. And class, if she decides to show up for work. Hey, baby. Yeah. Molly's ready. I think Molly got kind of tired of this. All right. We're heading home from uh, the Thompson Causeway Recreational Area Campground. I don't know exactly what they call it. You'll hear me calling it all kinds of things because depending on what you're looking at, what you're reading, uh, it, it could be about anything. I got to make a loop back around here uh, to dump the trash. Um, okay, there we go. Now we're uh, going around the loop the same way that uh, we did when we came in. Looks a lot emptier, doesn't it? Yeah. That's because when uh, when uh, we got here, I hadn't noticed it when we pulled in, but after we got parked, uh, I noticed that it was surrounded. I mean, this whole loop almost was full of these escape trailers, different lengths, some with single axle, some with dual axle, but they were all the escape brand, uh, little fiberglass campers, and uh, found out later that we were right in the middle of an escape owner's uh, rally. <laughs> that was kind of different. Um, I want to stop right here for just a second and show you, gosh, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's so late in the day, but right here where we were camping is the whitest spot in the on the Mississippi River. It doesn't get any whiter than this. Looks a lot like a lake, doesn't it? Um, it's really pretty. I had no idea the Mississippi got this wide. I know it's a big river, but this is uh, kind of outstanding. Uh, I'll uh, I'll look up uh, how wide it is here. Uh, it might surprise us all, but I'll uh, I'll look it up and I'll put it here on the screen someplace. Uh, share that with you. And. Uh, Oh, right here on the right is where we were camping as you can see our neighbor that was right up close to us there was was uh, out of here this morning I got up looked out the window most of them across the street had already left but uh, I don't know how long the rally lasted but I thought that was kind of neat you know once I noticed it that it almost looked like a sales lot of some kind Okay, now we're ready to get on out of here. Yeah, I rolled a stop sign. Send me the ticket.
what really uh, what really annoys me is that uh, I took all of my cast iron stuff. I was gonna get started on that. Uh, I'm just really anxious. I got got two brand new uh, cast iron pans, well uh, pan, a griddle, and a great uh, grill, I guess they call it. Um, and a modification for my gas grill to make it a little easier. And took along some groceries to cook something, and season them, and you know the whole bit. I was going to do a, I was going to do a video about all that. Uh, but oh well, maybe next time. Looks like we got lucky on the storage yard. Somebody's here. So that means we don't have to open the gate, which isn't all bad. Nope. Somebody's getting ready to race, it looks like. Come on, I got you. That actually uh, is the case here. We have a lot of stock car drivers that keep their equipment here. And uh, this isn't a race day though. I'm not sure what he's up to. Maybe he wants to race old classic. What do you think? Hey, you got your title with you, buddy? We'll go for it. <laughs> okay, you see, there's a couple of them there on the right. K5. So on, uh, on weekends, this place gets to be kind of hopping with the campers heading out and the race cars going out and back in. And it's kind of it's kind of cool. But like I said, we're going to call this good enough. And uh, again, we'll get some better stuff in the future, I promise. So until then... From Molly and the geezer, happy trails.